In this video, I'm going to show how to construct a probability distribution table. Here, we need to construct a probability distribution for the number of hits obtained when a coin is tossed three times. Random variable x is the number of hits obtained. So first, we need to identify possible values of x. Since we are tossing a coin, Three times, we need to think about outcomes in terms of number of possible hits. Here, number of hits we can have are 0, 1, 2, and 3. So let's put them down. 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now, to find the probabilities, we will list sample space first. For that, we can use a tree diagram. So let me make a tree diagram here. So on the first toss, we'll get head and tail. On the second toss, we'll get head and tail again. So again, for the third toss, we'll get head and tail again. So let me label these branches. So this is for the second toss and this is for the third toss. So now, let's write down the outcomes. So looking at these branches here, so this outcome will be head, head, head. So this will be head, head, tail. And this will be head, tail, head. This will be head, tail, tail. This one here will be tail, head, head. This one here will be tail, head, tail. This one down here will be tail, tail, head. And finally, the last one will be tell, tell, tell. So now, once we have all these outcomes here, we can put sample space. So basically, all I will be doing here is copying these outcomes down here. So those are the sample space. So they are head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, 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 head, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head, and finally, tail, tail, tail. So once we have sample space here, we are ready to find the probabilities of getting 0, 1, 2, and 3 hits. So here, getting tail, which is one possibility out of 8. So that's why we'll have 1 over 8 here. So for this one, when x equals to 1, that means we are looking at 1 hit. So on the sample space, we consider the outcomes head, tail, 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 head, tail, and tail, tail, head. So we have three out of eight. So I will write that down here. So when x is two, that means we are looking at two head. 
So on the sample space, we consider the outcomes head, head, tail, this one, head, tail, head, this one, and tail, head, head, this one. So we have three out of eight. So finally, when X is three, that means we are looking at three head. So on the sample space, we consider the outcomes, which is this one, which is head, head, head. So therefore, we have one over eight. So here, this is the probability distribution for the number of heads. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe our channel. We will be bringing more and more videos on variety of topics.